the car buzzing. Immediately, what is the bullet that comes to your mind? Hodgkins. And uh, it can lead to severe em emesis, the car buzzing. And uh, you can prevent it by giving condensatron is the bullet you need to remember. Hydroxyurea, two bullets. What is the mechanism? Hydroxyurea inhibits the ribonucleotide reductase. That is the reason you need to remember hydroxyurea. Mechanism is very favorite question. And why do you use hydroxyurea in sickle cell anemia? Because hydroxyurea increases the fetal hemoglobin. Fetal hemoglobin will not sickle unlike uh, adult hemoglobin. So that is the reason we use it in uh, sickle cell anemia. Then hydroxyurea is one of the important implicated agents in drug induced SLD. That is the reason you need to remember. So this is a way, this is a very important uh, thing that you need to remember whenever you use hydroxyurea. You have a ribonucleotide reductase and the ribonucleotide reductase is the one which will convert a nucleoside diphosphate into deoxynucleotide diphosphate. And it is this ribonucleoside reductase is inhibited by hydroxyurea. If you can recall this in the tomorrow's exam, you will crack that one mark. So one of the favorite and repeatedly asked question. Regarding lomustin, one of the single bullet that you should remember is it crosses the blood brain barrier. Then methotrexate and melphalan immediately reminds you of what? Multiple myeloma treatment. Then meclorithamine, Hodgkin's treatment. Don't forget. And procarbazin disulfiram reaction, favorite question of the examiner. Streptojocin, it causes diabetes because it leads to the death of the islet cells and it can cross blood brain barrier. There are two bullets about it. Then there are certain anti cancer drugs which typically function as antibiotics that you need to remember. Antimycin. How does it act? It acts on the electron transport chain on the complex 3. That is the single point you need to remember. Bleomycin, pulmonary fibrosis. Dactinomycin is used in the treatment of Wilms tumor. Donorubicin is used in AML and it can lead to development of cardiac fibrosis. At least 50-60 times this question was asked. Donorubicin. Its role in AML and its ability to cause cardiac fibrosis is an adverse effect. It's a favorite bullet for the neat PG. Then doxorubicin is also called adriamycin and it can lead to irreversible cardiac fibrosis. And in order to manage its cardiotoxicity, they will be administering dexroxazone is what you have to basically remember. So in the UMedico app, Shortly we are introducing a feature where you have in every topic the list of the points available just like you are inbox in the Gmail. Just you can bookmark it or you can set up a reminder then automatically the app will be sending you push notifications on all those points that you have set as reminders. Similarly, every point if you don't have time available to read you can only know, you can only ask the app, show me all those points which are most bookmarked by the entire world. Then the points become rearranged from most bookmarked to least bookmarked under the topic. And uh, you can only read the most bookmarked, what you, all your friends are bookmarking. Only that you can be able to read. Our developers are working hard to get the mobile app next version in which they want to use this. So that what happens is today learning companionship, you are traveling means today you are using Google Maps. You know how much time it takes to go to destination. If you want to buy something, if you want to marry also somebody, you are doing a Facebook and a Google research about that person. So also learning, your smartphone will become your slave, it will be reminding you, hey, Doxeraxazone, where is it used? Do you remember? Do you want to still remember? 
it will be chasing you until you say, hey, shut up. I remember what is doxer oxygen. I know what is paclitaxel. I know vinblastin lead to bone marrow suppression. I know vincristin lead to CNS toxicity. Once you are sure, you can once more remove it from your reminders. So that is what a learning companion and some of the questions like Samoma bodies are found. Homer winter rosettes are found where? So you can also record your voice and uh, you can also, if you don't have energy to once more read it through them, you can uh, only switch on and can remember, remind, remember the uh, voice messages of those points which you wanted to revise. All this is possible on the UMedico app and uh, it will also be doing analysis on your activity on the app. What quizzes you are playing, what questions you are answering wrong, with whom you are playing the quizzes. Based on all that activity, it will be doing analysis and we will be telling you, hey, Dr. Ramu, please don't forget the choriocarcinoma clinical management. You are constantly doing wrong. This is a very high yield, hot area. You have to read. It keeps sending you notifications. So that is how it becomes your learning companion. So another one week to two weeks, we will be releasing the new version with artificial intelligence, the UMedico app to become your personalized companion. Now, mitramycin. So it is a cancer drug, still we use it, especially when very high calcium levels, hypercalcemia if it is there, we use to decrease the calcium levels. Then few comments on anti-metabolites. Remember one important principle. If the malignant cells are slowly multiplying, what is the drug of choice? It is an alkylating agent. If the cancer cells are fast growing, then anti-metabolites are considered to be the treatment of choice. So acute malignancies, anaplastic malignancies where the cells are rapidly proliferating, the anti-metabolite, anti-cancer agents are considered to be the drug of choice. Now let's talk about 5-fluorouracil. It is an analog of thymine. That's the reason it will go and inhibit the thymidylate synthetase and uh, lead to uh, blocking of the conversion of uridine monophosphate into thymidine monophosphate. So inhibition of thymidylate synthetase. That is the bullet about 5-fluorouracil. You have to remember in the tomorrow's exam reflexly. 